Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys an inside the dressing room at Rainbow. I'm super excited because this video is actually a collaboration with my dear friend Stephanie Carollo on YouTube and Instagram. She is so cute and I feel like we have like similar fashion sense too. So if you guys like the pieces that I try out today, make sure you head over to her channel. All her information will be linked in the description box down below. If you stop over there, make sure you let her know that I sent you. And if you're new to my channel, hello, hi, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Let me know if you're new in the comments below so I can welcome you properly to my channel. Um, before we get started with this video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you guys like Inside the Dressing Room videos. I have a few more coming right after this one, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. And check out my Instagram if you're interested. It will be linked on the screen right here. I do post on there a few times a week showing you guys some outfits of the day and stuff like that and it will also be linked in the description box down below but I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling if you guys are interested in seeing my inside the dressing room at rainbow then please keep watching so I have a few different outfits to show you this first one we are seeing here is a little bit out of my comfort zone personally but I think it's a really cute look especially for fall coming so incredibly soon so the top I'm wearing is an off the shoulder, like cold shoulder top and is in black. It has that little like lattice detail in the front. The, the straps are very thin on the shoulder and then it does go off the shoulder as I mentioned. And it's a nice like fitted material, really easy. Like I feel like you could easily tuck this into pants if you wanted to or a skirt or something like that. The bottoms I'm wearing are actually a pair of like jean style camo pants um they're giving me a bad camel toe please disregard um they're like a mid-rise fit so that's why i didn't tuck the black tank top into this because i feel like i needed them to be a little bit higher waisted in order to do so they do actually have two zipper like pockets in the front but they are actually faux pockets so not functioning which is unfortunate they do actually have true pockets in the back now these pants are interesting because they have this like ruching detail on the side of the pant and I thought it was kind of cool in my opinion. I mean like I say I wouldn't wear these pants but honestly like I feel like I would. I mean they're just a little more different than something I would typically think of wearing. This next piece is perfect for the end of the summertime. It is a yellow polka dot dress. It does have the ruffle off the shoulder detail inches in at the waist and then it is ruffled at the bottom as well as you'll notice this dress is very short on me if you guys are new or not familiar I am 5'10 so unfortunately this is just not meant for me for someone my size in my opinion um, you could probably get away with wearing like some leggings underneath it as you'll notice this top is very sheer I'm wearing a black bra um, I will link my favorite strapless bra in the description box down below I always get questions on it it will be linked down there so this next outfit you guys are seeing would be perfect for the fall time. I'm really just feeling the camo, so I apologize for all the camo, but if you guys know me, then you know I love camo. So the top I'm wearing is a camo short sleeve fitted t-shirt. So it is v-neck and it does tie in the center. I love the fit of this tee. I was very close to getting it. It was only like $10 or so. But like I actually have a million camo shirts. My boyfriend would kill me if I came home with another one. Um, you guys know I love that tie detail in the center. I just think it's so cute. And I paired it with a black pair of pants. So they're interesting. They're, they fit like a jean almost. Um, but they have the elastic waistband and they actually have a tie in the center too. I tucked the tie in because it's like a white shoestring almost kind of feel tie. Um, but I just tucked it inside of my pants because I didn't like the way it was clashing with the tie on the shirt itself. The pants do have back pockets though they don't have front pockets. They fit like an ankle length on me um, like just a few inches away from the ankle which I think it would be cute with a pair of like booties. Next outfit we are seeing here is a white t-shirt and the t-shirt is very loose and flowy. It is in a size 1x along with everything else you guys have seen so far. The t-shirt does have um, two, like on the sleeves, it does have two layers of like ruffle and it is like a gingham print. So really cute. The tee was just a little bit baggier than like my preference. I wish it was a little bit more fitted, but not a problem. I just tied it in the center with my hair tie, as you can see, just to kind of do something quick. 
the shorts I am wearing are really cute they are a pair of black like linen kind of style short that like kind of all stores carry they do have the paper bag waist and then they do have a tie that goes around them um, the shorts were in a 2x they actually fit me pretty well I would say I do like pants to be a little bit looser um, so I thought the shorts fit really well these shorts again I'm wearing here are in, a, in black um, these are from that like wax jean brand I think that you can find them at like forever 21 in fashion nova they do have three button closure and a zipper at the bottom they are more like a mid-rise as well um, they do have front pockets and back pockets in these shorts these shorts are supposed to be the ones that make your booty look good I mean I don't know I guess it looks okay I wouldn't I wasn't mad about it um they are definitely a shorter fit but I didn't think that they were like uncomfortably short in my opinion. Again, in a size 1X, I believe. And the top that I'm showing you guys is a navy blue ruffle sleeve blouse. And it has yellow florals all over it. This is the last outfit actually I have to show you guys. So I'm wearing those same black denim shorts that I showed you guys previously from that wax brand. Um, and then I just paired it with a button up chambray top that actually has the tie in the center. So the top itself is long sleeve and it does have the longer back detail. I really like this top and I believe it was on clearance for around $10. I will try my best to link everything down below for you guys. If I can't find this specific item, I will link similar ones just so you can still shop. Um, but the chambray top I just thought was so cute. I know you guys asked to see some looks for like a country concert. This is definitely one of them in my opinion, like with some like boots, like you should wear some cowboy boots or like whatever type of shoes you want to wear. This is definitely an outfit you could totally wear. And um, the top of the, the shirt is meant to be tied. So like if you were to untie it, it just has like that hole there. So definitely want to tie this shirt up. You can roll the sleeves up if you wanted to, especially since it's still pretty warm, at least where I live. And that was actually all of the pieces that I had to share with you guys today from Rainbow. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do apologize that I didn't have more pieces to share with you. Um, unfortunately, my plus size section just really wasn't large at my store. They had like, it was mixed. It was just like really picked through. The jeans like weren't in my size. The dress, like I had another dress I was going to try on, but that one didn't fit. So it wasn't like a fail. I did like the pieces that I tried on and I actually ended up purchasing some of them, but I just wish they had a bigger selection. So if you guys want me to shop there again, I can go to like a different location or I can try online. Um, let me know your comments and feedback and like what your favorite piece was down below in the comments. Real quick before we wrap up this video, I'm just going to show you guys the pieces that I did end up getting. Um, so as I mentioned, I ended up getting those black jeans that I showed you guys. So like they're a jean style pant and then they have the elastic waistband. I just really needed a, like a plain black pair of pants for a while. Uh, these are not completely plain. They do have this like textured detail on the knee. Um, hopefully you can see that. But other than that, I mean, they're pretty plain. They are like an ankle fit on me, um, which I think is going to be perfect for the fall time. So I can just throw some booties on. And these were $10. I did get a pair of sweatpants as well. These are in a size 2X. Um, so unfortunately, they were sold out of the 1X. The 2X is pretty big, not the most flattering, but something just kind of easy to throw on. They are a gray camo um like jogger style sweatpants so they have pockets in the center elastic on the waist tie on the waist and then they go down to that like tapered bottom and then they have the um they have these little stripes on the bottom and oh they say they say keep on track on the side they these are actually three dollars so i was like well i always need like pants to just throw on so why not and last piece i got actually is a jacket i hope this jacket is available still because it's a really good buy for ten dollars uh this one's also ten dollars so this is like a utility style jacket it is all black and then has these silver details on it um it was raining actually the day when i was shopping there and i was like well i'm just gonna get like an easy jacket but i actually ended up really liking this and think it will be perfect for fall so it worked out it has a hood on it and everything 
covered in dog hair now because <laughs> that's just how it is at my house but it has like a lining on the inside too so it's a bit warmer not like super warm but for 10 bucks i thought this was a really good buy as i mentioned i will link everything down below that i can find for you guys but before we wrap up this video if you guys are new make sure you subscribe give this video a big thumbs up check out my instagram if you haven't already and check out stephanie's channel she is such a sweetheart like guys you guys need to go check her out Again, as I mentioned, she was shopping at Rainbow too, so I will link her channel and her video in the description box down below. If you do go over and stop at her channel, make sure you tell her that I sent you. But I think that is all I have to say today, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys!